The Australian women's cricket team is set to play its first international matches on home soil since winning its sixth T20 World Cup. Retaining the Ashes for a fifth consecutive series and breaking an eight-year drought in the test format. The group's sustained success as world's number one team will be enough to attract crowds for Sunday's white ball series against the West Indies. But organizers still hope to capitalize on countries' growing interest in women's sports. The major football tournament has struck a chord with the Australian public and travelling fans, with attendance and broadcast viewing records falling throughout the competition. Although our national cricket team experienced a similar kind of support during its home T20 World Cup campaign 2020, Outbreak that resulted in a game-changing 86,174 final against India at MCG quickly sent country into lockdown. Unfortunately this meant that some of the momentum was lost afterwards. Beyond huge attendance felt by crowd and every Australian. Matilda's campaign and FIFA World Cup more generally have also been called a commercial success. It was first tournament to reach break-even for the sport's global governing body. While Nike saw unprecedented demand for its Australian jerseys, outpacing previous World Cup edition by 13 to 1. You wonder how dual international Elise Perry feels as she watches all this from the sidelines. Perry announced his signing for Sydney FC in 2012 while posing with a cricket bat and football. As someone who first took part both sports in 2007, aged 16, first cricket and then football within a fortnight, does he regret his decision to eventually choose cricket when competitive schedules became too much? No, not at all. From a personal perspective I had the incredible experience opportunity to play two sports for a while before both turning professional full-time and I think that also happened in cricket. Football, Perry told ABC Sport. The rise of other sports and opportunities for women is also great. She said, everything happened at right time for me it's nice to just be a fan share that experience with everyone around country who really excited about World Cup. Because it's been a special moment. I'm in sport when I watch Matilda's play at moment I feel probably like every other Australian. They are extraordinary athletes who incredibly fun engaging. I want him to do well in so many ways. I think football is one of the last frontiers for Australia because it's not a sport where we normally have so much success and girls need to achieve. Perry. 32 has spent more time in the spotlight thanks to greater financial returns in cricket. The question may seem absurd to cricket fans, who are deeply aware of how much Perry has achieved since his last game for the Matildas in 2013. As he embarks on a career in the single sport, over past decade, Perry has won four T20 World Cups, an OD World Cup, a Commonwealth Games gold medal and achieved the third highest score.